Hi, my name is Jeff, and today we're going to talk about finding information within your SharePoint environment. And one of the biggest things that you can do to help with this ability to find information is to use tags. We're going to walk through how to tag some of your data. So within the industry in general, it takes an hour and a half a day to find information per person, to find information within their environment. That's a lot of wasted time. I spend a lot of time on my videos helping people understand how to save time when they're dealing with their information. So today we're just gonna talk about tags and we may throw some other things in as well as we get started. So let's start here within SharePoint. So to open up SharePoint, we just click on this uh, waffle here and we select SharePoint and we select SharePoint right here and then we open up the library now to find your documents within SharePoint you just click on documents and here you're going to see everything within your environment so I'm going to just go ahead and click on general and backup because I have a bunch of files in there and I'm going to go ahead and add a tag to one of my files let's do this one here now remember if i select this document directly let's use this one if i select this document directly it's going to open up the document right we don't want that i can also select right here do you notice that it's a blank space it's not over this and it's not over this notice there's a line there we want to select right there if we select right there Notice the check mark, it selects a document for us. Now, <clears throat> one other way to select this document is to go right here, click on that, and that selects a document. All of these select a the document for you. So once a document has been selected, we want to look at the details of the document. Now to look at the details, we can click here and say details. We can also click here and click on details. Now for me, usually I keep the details tab open so that when I go to other documents, let's just say this one, instructions, I can see all of my details. Pretty easy, right? Now I have two options in here. I can use tags or titles. Now a title here, we can enter its value and you can see when you select here, Oh, it doesn't have an information, but you can add information that's searchable. Remember, it's all about this search right here. But today what we're going to do is we're going to use a tag um, and we're just going to put a new tag in. And we're going to put in Donald Duck. Now, notice in my tag, I do not use spaces. Spaces, what a space means to a computer is this percent. 20%. Okay, and, and different files deal with things differently, but it's not a space. At the end of the day, it's not a space. So that complicates things when we start to search. So we want to be able to have, and I'm going to go over one with a space and with not a space in just a moment, but this is a, the way that I do it, is I always put the words together. And now I have Donald Duck. Now, if you notice here, I can add multiple tags as well. I'm just going to have Donald Duck. That's it. Now I've tagged this document successfully. Now I need to refresh <clears throat> my library. And now let's search and see if sometimes SharePoint's a little slow, but let's see if it, if it took care of it immediately. And sure enough, it did. Now if we inspect this document instructions, there's not going to be a Donald Duck. I also put in a Mickey Mouse. Okay, and there's a document I tagged with Mickey Mouse. So I could use any tag that works for me, right? Whatever that looks like for me, I can put in tags. Some tags may be um, journal or meeting notes, whatever it is. Just remember, just it's simple enough to tag your documents and add a tag uh, that you can see. Now let's go ahead and play with adding a tag that is has a space in it. 
So let's just say here, um, let's put in Minnie Mouse. Let's put in, we can't put in Minnie Mouse. Uh, let's put in, let's say Minnie got married to Pluto. I don't know what Pluto's last name is. So we'll just put in Mini Pluto. And we'll hit tab. And now we see there's two tags, Mini Pluto and Mini Mouse. So let's go ahead. We're going to refresh this library again. And let's go ahead and search for Mini Pluto. Now, Mini Pluto will come up because we have the two words in it. The first one being Mini. But let's look up just Pluto and see what we find. Pluto comes up as well. Now, why is that? Because when we search here, we're searching for a combination or a single phrase, right? Single line of text. Mickey Mouse with no spaces gives us the, the finds the document. Mini and Pluto were dealt with in, as independent words. So it finds that. Now let's see what it does with Mickey. Okay. Now notice here that Mickey does not show up as our document. We do have Mickey in these two samples, which, because it's a common phrase I use. Mickey Mouse, when I use those words together, now I find the information. So this is important for you to understand that if you select words, let's, although I don't know how many of us use Pluto in our everyday language, but if you use the word Pluto, for example, or another one, let's tag another document just, just as an example here, just so you can see this in real life. Let's tag this document. It doesn't matter, I guess. We'll just tag this document right here. And we're going to go there. We're going to go to tags. Instead, what we're going to put in is meeting notes. Okay. Notice we did not use, um, we have a space there. We did not put them together. Okay. So when I search for meeting, let's see what it comes up with. Okay. Lots of information. Let's refresh that because my one document that I want is, let's see if it's included in there, meeting. Okay, so when I search, if we look for that, it was an Excel spreadsheet. Where is it? It's not in here. It is just showing those. If I search for meeting notes, it's still just finding, there it is right there, Power BI sample data. But when I search just for meeting, does Power BI sample data, it does not come up. Do you notice the inconsistency? Now, let's see if this works, which is a common way to find stuff. We're finding the exact phrase, meeting notes. There it is right there. But notice that all of these also have meeting notes in them. So if I wanted to make that unique, okay, if I wanted to make that unique, general backup, this is how I would do it. So let's go here to Power BI. That's the one we tagged with meeting notes. Now let's take the meeting notes, get rid of it, and instead type in, we could do two things. Meeting, whoops, if we could spell it wrong, that would help. Meeting notes as one word, or we could put in meeting, well, we can abbreviate it, like meeting notes with a numeric two. Now, why numeric two? Again, we are striving for something that is unique, unique. So let's go ahead and just refresh this real quick. We're almost done. I, I apologize, it ran a little longer. Let's go ahead and search for MN2. Hit go. Nothing. Okay. Now let's search for MN2. There it is. So it's case sensitive. So that helps when you put in search values as those tags. If you did MN2, it's not going to work. Oh, of course, it made a liar out of me. So it doesn't look like it's as case sensitive. But MN2, it only pulled up one thing. Here, if I go to meeting notes, 
and search it's just going to pull that data up as well notice because there's no space there and i didn't use that so bottom line you can use unique values to find things within your tags and your documents in sharepoint be able to find your information quickly and efficiently good luck